Yeah, your top <laughs> role is that VTuber guy. And then you go down and see, oh, this dude touched a hot pan and can't use spoiler tags right. Okay, okay, no, no, no. I didn't touch a hot pan. I, the hot pan set a paper towel on fire and the hot, the paper towel was in my hand. That's not what you told us. Look, I said I was holding the hot pan and the paper towel caught on fire. That's, and my, in my, um, in my brain, I was like, I need to get this outside. I can, and instead of just, you know, putting it in the sink that was literally less than a foot to my right. Sorry, I'm, I'm still focusing on building feet. Nice. Narwhal. Narwhal's not here. Ah. Uh, this just in, Cosmo is building custom feet. I knew you liked feet. feet. I mean, what? Cosmo, you know what would be funny? Mm. If, like, a year from now they make Grandpa 4.0. Dude, they're gonna do that after uh, the real grade 2.0 is like, oh, we're gonna do that bigger. And that's it. It's gonna be a Verkal. Oh, yeah. No doubt about it. Fuck. The only real grades out there are just those small little ones and for a cause at this point. Everything else, high grades and real grades, well, actually they do real grades like twice a year. Well, to be fair, for me at least, high grades just feel like the beginner entry into Gundam building kits, despite the fact that we now have an entry grade kit. True. And like that, that's just a me thing, specifically because my first kit was a high grade. Me. That. I feel like everybody's I'm, like first kit is a high grade. Yeah, because they only sell high grade kits and there's very few SDs and like unless you know what an SD is, you're not going to really buy it compared to like the actual uh giant model kits. Oh yeah. Did you uh did you uh Cosmo, did you read the uh little weapon art balance article they put out? Uh, they gave every pulse rifle except for three of them, um, a, essentially a 25% damage buff across the board. Yeah. On top of another damage buff for red bars, and I was like, oh my god. And then it also gave Osiostriga a four second internal cooldown timer, and I was like, yeah, oh. Yeah, that, that's a little weird. That, no, I thought that was the most egregious. I thought, and like, you have me agreeing with people. Like and then you have Salt Agrippa agreeing with everyone else, going, "Yeah, this is that's a little much." Um, even the Div nerf, he was like, "This was like unneeded." The, the guy who kept on saying, "Hey, you should nerf this." Nerf. Yeah, no, he was like that. It be so basically what it is. Um, however much ammo it takes to put up a bubble, like say three, it will take uh seventy five percent more. So it'll take two two extra bullets let's say that's an example that it's obviously probably not like that but yeah as a side note and off topic um i'm still looking at the fucking tumblr poll oh no where supernatural is has a ship fighting uh gundam and it is fascinating to me me watching on the sidelines going i like i <laughs> i i also something to think about I've learned the entirety of uh, Naruto through fanfiction. Damn. What? I that literally is... know the very important plot points of that show through fanfiction. Because most of the most fanfictions are like... Like, the more popular ones are usually time travel fanfiction, where it's like, Naruto and Hinata die, and then they get sent back all the way back in time to when Naruto first becomes a ninja. And then he like, and what was one? He steals, he kills Sasuke and steals his eyes because he was like, I can't redeem you. What the fuck? Because it I, I zone back into this conversation yeah. at like the right time. Um, oh, the, we're we're talking yeah. about fan fiction, and I am talking about the Tumblr oh boy, yeah, no, and again. because I said how most Naruto fan fiction is like instead of you know Naruto actually redeeming Sasuke like in the in the anime, it's. No, uh, Sasuke kills Hanada, takes out her eyes, puts them in Sakura, and then Sa uh, Naruto dies. And then he gets sent back in time, yada yada yada. What the fuck are you saying? That That's legitimately how most Naruto fanfiction go now. 
And they're actually written surprisingly well. Yes. That's in the eye of the beholder, but I will take your word for it. Uh, sure. mainly because it's like, it's it has actual power scaling and not like, whatever the end of Naruto had. And then, you know, it also makes oh. Naruto not exist. You know what? Thumbs up in my book. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see, oh, see? Naruto doesn't exist? Which is funny now, no, because Naruto... No, a world where Naruto doesn't exist and they actually do not have fucking nukes in the form of energy. That's actually... Energy fun. balls. Well, I mean, that still exists, or... but that was pretty I mean, yeah, that's, that's fair. No, um, that, that was like when he what's first a better example the um, uh the resurrection jutsu that got a little out of hand really quickly bit of tensei yeah that because was... remember remember it was like oh you have to kill yourself to use it and then like orochimaru became like functionally immortal you're thinking of two different techniques edo tensei Probably. is is resurrecting someone but putting them in someone else's body and then controlling them like a puppet the thing Orochimaru does is, um, shove a snake in your mouth and then take over your body. I think he's specifically referring to the Jutsu Orochimaru used to revive the, uh, four Hokages. Yeah, which is Edo Tensei. Ah, yeah, because I think he's mistaken it as the other spell the third Hokage used. Weird question. Do you know how many enhancement prisms come from a GM? Uh, Naro's not here. I don't know. I don't know. I think at least one's guaranteed for each run. I would hope it's more than one. Like, significantly more. Let me look it up how, real quick. That's how I... much a Master Law Sector gives for reference. Whoops. How, oh, this how the hell did you lose three pieces? Again, I read my pre-snip, please. Oh, oh, okay. That makes sense. Do, do, uh, is there any extras in case you no. do? No. Barely, actually. There are... So you, you kind of have to hope those three that you can't find aren't vital. Gone, yeah. Gone. There goes my roll. It looks a little better, but yeah, I agree. The neck is really thick. Let me just readjust myself, get comfortable, pull out my tablet. Which doesn't help that my reference image is Kamen Rider Kabuto, who is wearing armor. Yes, you are trying to draw a body. However, comma, you're... The reference oh, you are shit. using is wearing armor, which may or may not like be impact impacting on how you're draw doing your current drawing. Yeah. The guy in my GM is using double special. I'm just like that was not the play, my guy. Why is he using double special? It was meta at one point in time. Yeah, but, he's back, but no, he's using succession and the dungeon sidearm. Uh -huh. Don't those basically cover the same niches? Mid to long range? Uh, and look at it this way, he is- he caused us to lose four different wipes because he pushed ahead so far that it pulled us and we both died. Bro. Damn. So what I'm seeing your issue is here is that you don't- is that it's just kind of a bit of a- your neck is weird because your face isn't placed. You have to see where your face is heading before you draw the neck. Gotcha. And so, also as well, the thickness of the neck is depend dependent on, like, how the body structure is. And because your character is a character that is fit, your neck is going to be skinnier than the width of your head. So the best way I can word it is kind of like how I hope people draw eyebrows where like the ends of the eyebrows uh, are aligned with the corners of the eyes. Mm -hmm. That's kind of how you're going to draw the neck. At least that's how I learned how to do it. And then it's also remembering as well where the collarbone is as well. That will help you with structuring the neck. Okay. How about that? That much also remember as well. It's not just a straight uh rectangle with the neck it flare mm -hmm. it flares out because there are the muscles in the back of the neck right it's anime tends to just ignore that very important part of the neck so you just end up people with rectangle necks 
and you, you you do not want to end up with manga yaoi anatomy. <laughs> That's probably the best way to put it. That, that is the best way I can word it. You do not want your art to look like Fujoshi Yaoi. And don't make your hands so large. You don't want <laughs> Yaoi hands either. You do not want the Yaoi hands. Yeah, I think my issue with the hands especially is that on one hand, I feel yeah. like I'm making the hands too small. And on the other hand, if I increase it by like an inch, it just becomes too big for me. You know what's the best way to size okay. hands? So oh. the bottom of your palm is where your chin would be, and then the tip of your middle finger is going to be where your uh, eyebrows are going to be. I see. And then where your fingers start is like where the tip of your nose is at. Because you know how people pull a prank on you, like, hey, your hand fits like your face. And so you yeah. put your hand in your face and people slap you on your hand so that way you're slapping yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the way I figured out how to draw hands. Oh, I still fuck, I still fuck up on hands, though. I fucking hate hands, man. I think... Hands are, yeah. Hands are very difficult in some aspects. They are. If you can master hands... I will be a god. Anyways. Alas, artists are always cursed with, oh, you're great at drawing one part of the body, you're gonna suck horribly at drawing this other part of the body. I, I happen to be really good with drawing faces, I suck at fucking hands. So the left neck looks a little thin compared to the right side of it, you're gonna move your left side just, just a little more up. Trust me, uh, I tend to draw necks uneven as well. It will look good on this one side, however, the oh other God. side just looks very skinny. Narwhal, my favorite arsonist, how are you? <laughs> That's the best way to put him. Blowing up more things in Baldur's Gate 3. I have a meme for you, actually. I, ha I have a meme for you, because I remember about... what happened yesterday. Are you talking about the rather this. cursed... Oh. <laughs> 20 sm... <laughs> no. Make it 40. This stream, sponsored by Opera GX. No. No. Cut it. <laughs> Cut the bit. No. Cut the bit. Stop it! Kill yourself. Now. My god. Mm. I love my art final, but at the same time, this thing is now officially due in four hours. Get to it. Um, I am working on it, nitwit. Nitwit outwit. <laughs> god damn it, normal. <laughs> what normal do? This stream is sponsored oh. in chat. <laughs> <laughs> did he do the Rage Shadow Legends bit? Or... No, he did Opera GX bit. Aww, the Rage, the Rage Shadow <laughs> Legends one is... I was tempted to do it. Mods ban him. Says to not I mod. mod. Yeah, I, I know, mod. that's why I did it. <laughs> Joke's on you, he's the mod. Narwhal bans Mage. <laughs> Truly. Narwhal tries to ban himself. Narwhal fucking pin that comment. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you also said slash J. If I wasn't mid GM, True. I'd post a copy pasta. Do the come to make an announcement copy pasta. I've come to make an announcement. Shadow but, the Hedgehog. But it's replace every ass. instance of Shadow the Hedgehog with ah, uh, yeah. Cosmo VT is a bitch. Like, fuck your wife. <laughs> pissed on my fucking wife. No, not I, he pissed, pissed, pissed on my on fucking my gunpla. <laughs> No! No! <laughs> I mean, there's one Gundam you can do that to, and it's uh, the Piss Gundam. Piss Gundam? I don't remember Hakushi. that one. Hockey shooting. Uh, Quattro uh, Vaginas Gold Gundam. Oh, Piss. Oh, yeah, piss Yakushiki. Gundam. Yeah, I don't blame you for that. motherfucker. He pissed on I... my fucking gunpla. I don't blame you for, uh, Mispronouncing and not remembering the name, just like. Amaro's a who, bitch ass motherfucker. He pissed on my Gundam. He pissed in my Gundam. I mean, could be worse. Mikazuki fucked in his Gundam. Yeah, wasn't that's there a fucking a, a uh, Gundam series where a woman was burning to death and gave birth to her child in the said yes, Gundam? Yes, that's a, that's specifically a manga. Therefore, anime only will not. Tongue in permitted by Cosmo. <laughs> Yeah. Huh? Silence, wench. Also, mage. What's with the bunch of amoguses in the 
image. What what is up with that? Amogus. Get timed out, bitch. Why is that person not wearing clothes? Is Dratini away from the mic? No, I'm just locked in. Ah. I did something again. Locked in the... Uh, Please don't change my nickname again. Someone changed my name again. Was it previously touch a hot pan, Jack? No, I said stop changing my name. And guess who changed my name? Change it back. I don't know what it was. I don't have the power to do that. Why make them separate pieces? Are you sure you want to change back to what you previously had? Which was, and I quote, gummy goo fucker. (laughs) No, I changed it after that. No, and that actually pissed me off. That means you went, changed it from what I had it changed to. Changed it back to that. I just reset your nickname. Thank you. Speaking of gays, time to look at the Tumblr post again. See if anything new happened. Speaking Probably days, not. Let's look at Tumblr. Let's look at this Tumblr poll where actual canonical lesbian couple are fighting against barrier gays trope number one. Actually, uh, you mean the couple that's been queer baiting its fans for the past fifteen years versus it's up to interpretation to gal pals. Never say gal. Lesbians, but the company doesn't legally want to say lesbian. Also, a gal pal is the opposite of Luna, good gal. No, that's soul bad guy. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> no, which soul bad guy. guy? I wish soul they would add like a favorite butch, butch lesbian. Soul bad soul guy. Bad. I wish they would add a... It's what a lot of people call ascendant shards, frankly. I also call uh, alloys crafting golf balls, and that bothers one of my friends, so I say it more out of spite. I mean, but it's that... right. Like you're yeah. exactly he's like, correct. He's like, it's orange, and I'm like, you wanna know what else is orange? It's like what I said. Uh, Do you know what else is orange? A fucking orange. You know what an orange is? A giant golf ball. A lemon. A lemon. Lemon. <gasps> life gives you lemons. Yeah, an or- life- da, 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 da. orange. is a color yeah, of an orange. Life gives you melons. Just, just like a it. lemon. If life gives you melons, you make use of them to seduce the guards and make your way out of prison. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Dude, if only that it was that easy, I had to dress up like a femboy. I mean, what? I mean, yeah. What? That works just as well. I was called a femboy today. Beautiful. Damn straight, femboy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my friend Ellie called me a femboy, so I said, um, silence thought. What do you mean Johnny Young Bosch is Ultraman Blazar? Yeah, he's Ultraman Blazar. That is two Toku series that he is a actor of. Uh, yeah. Technically, Wait, I'm to do some math in my head. three. What else was he in? He did two different Power Ranger roles. Oh, that's all I'm saying. Two different main Toku series. Power Rangers, Super Sentai, and Ultraman. The only thing he's missing, which unfortunately we can't provide, is a common Rider role. Oh, uh, before... Yeah, common Rider is not gonna, like, do well in America, I'll, I'll be honest. Take a look at Masked Rider and Common Rider Dragon Knight. They did not get far. The first one, because people in the 80s were like... Not the 80s, the 90s, were like, that's a Power Ranger ripoff. And Dragonite, it didn't reach the right audience. On the um, on the other un- hand, un- Dragonite had venting before venting was a thing. Yeah, and unironically as He's well, venting. the Black uh, Common Ru- the Black Knight Common Rider in Dragonite was also uh, the host of Iron Chef. Before I forget this, um, holy shit, this is a nice ass spreadsheet God. this is a nice um, ass no 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 no. it lets me select like all the abilities and stuff and sort of like theory craft it a little bit but yeah no so my mango say, pineapple lemonade almost went out the wrong uh the wrong exit fuck you I you were gonna say my mango. mango i will listen i will load if you interrupt me again i will load my grandfather's car 98 and um I'm not gonna lie, I thought you were I'll gonna say, shot. Oh, pure god. I thought you were I, just I, gonna say, I'm gonna look no, 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 no. pure god. 
No, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to Tommy so Tommy can. No, 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 no. That, was, that was that was dark. That was dark. Um. No. Nah. So... See, you can't trust Tommy with the gun because Tommy's gonna use that to go ahead and do it themselves oh before doing it to Jatini. Jesus Christ. Huh. I am sorry, chat, for those who are experiencing this. The chat is like two people, and I'm fairly certain they're both in call. Yeah, no, those two people are me and Narwhal. Chub. Both hands look fine. I don't know about this arm. Let me see, let me see. Circle here. I remember one time I freehand drew um, the Halo Mark VI helmet from Halo Reach, and it was like, it came out really well, and I was like, the mem one memorable time I drew something. The other times they don't talk about. Your right arm is too long. The fingertips are touching where the uh, where your knee placement is. And before he posts it on Twitter, said I did a really good Zoom job. Zoom it out. Someone says your arm's too long. It looks AI generated. Random <laughs> thought I just recalled. Apparently, Halo drew inspiration from Gundam as well. I, to I totally believe that, especially but, for Halo 4. No, 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 like OG Halo, like the helmets, very similar to uh, how the visors look for a mobile suit called the Jigan. Um, the, uh, when I saw the Mantis in Halo Jigan, 4. Jigan, just, uh... Any Earth Federation Yeah. Yeah, like, apparently the, uh, Federation ships are literally just guns from Gundam mm -hmm. like ship guns uh my friend has also been gaslit into thinking by my other friend that I am a black man which is very funny no. to me I I have How? it outwardly so um when super black came out my friend Alan was like you're black and I went mm -hmm. And I just didn't say oh. anything. I didn't, I didn't correct them because I was like, they're talking about the armor. My friend legitimately thinks that I'm actually black in real life. And what makes it, I've taken it a step further. I put a picture of my hand on my monitor and you see when my hand was bandaged, the same photo that I showed you guys. And you can see like my wrist and everything. So it's just kind of funny to me. And I was like, oh my god, it's like I should say something. But at the same time, at this point, it's funny. Take in mind, this is in the same server where someone left because they were like, I don't like being called a meta slave, is actively running like the most meta loadout at all times. This looks really fucking go good. I won't lie, I give the credit to white people who sometimes can think this stuff up. Um, as a white person, should I ask? They made a quote unquote, uh, like a apple pie dip. Oh, wait. So it has. Wait. So it is like the Phil it's the Phil it's mostly the Philadelphia like uh no bake cheesecake filling that they got. Oh. Layered it with caramel. Is. No bake It's a no bake cheesecake. It's basically cheesecake that's already made for you. You could just eat it out the fucking tub. It's delicious. But yeah, they got that the caramel dip the pre made caramel dip. Slather it on top of that. And then put on some uh crumbs of like this. Heath bar, and then you just dip your apples in it. I won't lie, that actually sounds really good. I don't, I know, I do not like Heath bars. However, uh, um, I, I am interested because uh, I love what they're called? Like, I've been calling yeah. them health bars then for the last fifteen years. Give me a second. You lose a piece. Yeah, no, so am I. It's, it's called sandwiching, where you have to hold like multiple pieces. Oh. Yeah, no, I know exactly. Until they so, click, yeah. Gundam, building Gundams, is a lot like Pepekira. Yeah, like, almost like, almost the exact same way. What the hell is Pepekira? So, uh, you ever see those people who build, like, those full-size, like, wearable cosplay, like, Halo armor things? Mm-hmm. Oh, those? So, yeah, so the way people make those is they will basically get an unfolded version of, let's say, the Mark V B helmet, like the... It's the Noble Six helmet from Reach. Um, so what they end up doing is they'll take that helmet, they'll take that helmet and then, uh, unfold it and then put, print it out on a piece of cardstock. And, um, then they cut it out with an X-Acto knife and then we'll eat the edges are numbered. So like one goes to one, two goes to two and you glue them together or no, you tape them together and then you, um, 
glue the edges, then you can remove the tape, basically. Um, and then you put like a bunch of resin stuff on it to basically make the helmet. That's the that's one way. The other way, and it's been, the way you assemble it is basically almost identical to Gundam building by the looks of it. Except like five times more is tedious because if one piece rips, you can't just isolate that piece and reprint it. You have to reprint the entire helmet again. You know what's kind of funny about Achilles? What is that? Most media interprets him as some form of blonde. Except for that one do. rock movie. There was a rock movie? Yeah. Oh, yes, the Hercules movie. Uh, I haven't seen it, that one yet. That's someone. It's, that's one no, I have it's to actually watch. A, I really like it. So basically, it. Wait, is that the one where he screams Hector like three times? No, what? Um, no, so. a clip of. Um, an Achilles versus Hector fight. And it was just like. No. Hector. You're probably talking about the Troy movie. Hector. So in said movie. Basically, the plot is he's still the son of Zeus, but his 12 labors aren't as cut and dry as you think, where instead of him doing it, he has a crew of four or five people, and they help him, but he takes the glory, basically. Oh, and that's kind of messed well, up. Uh, no, but honestly, given that what you know about Greek mythology regarding him, it's not an insanely far-fetched idea. It was like no, one of those... No, it's not insanely far-fetched, but it's just like... Gorilla. It's... Gorilla. So, like, take in mind, he still he it wasn't like he didn't have the feats and stuff. Mm -hmm. He could he could totally do it by himself. It was just easier that he had friends to help, basically. And so, one of his he basically in the movie has a wife and child, and his thirteenth labor kills them. Like they get killed by it, and he essentially becomes Perks a mercenary. Out. Yeah. Um. And then uh, he gets in prison, yada yada yada, and basically goes, I am Hercules, and kills the 13th labor, and that's his 13th labor. Um, one of the guys also basically has prophetic visions of him dying in a, in a battle, uh, killed by arrow fire, which I thought was funny. But yeah, most media interprets Achilles as a blonde, because, you know, stereotypical, the ideal man is blonde hair, blue eyes. Achilles was actually described in the Iliad as having chestnut colored hair, in which case, brown. Because huh. guess what? Blonde was not that common of a fucking color. And that color was often associated with those who were demigods or gods themselves. Because it was like gold, and the closest thing to gold to be considered that, it was honey and ambrosia. Oh yeah, Tommy. Mm-hmm. The OG White Ranger? Yeah. And Die Ranger is a kid. OG White yeah, I know... Ranger is played by uh, Jason, right? Yeah. Jason! There was at one point in the Power Rangers series where the five Rangers were turned to kids. I, it was like a whole season thing. That's how we had the Power Rangers alien Rangers. Oh, I see. Because Zordon recruited these uh, aliens to be temporary Power Rangers because in order to be a Power Ranger, you had to be a teenager. And because the main five were turned to kids, they could not access their powers from the morphing grid. You know what my favorite ranger is? The Death Ranger. Based. Sadly, the Death Ranger did not get to live long. Rip. I, yeah, no, I, it doesn't shock me given that, you know, he was incredibly overpowered. Even, I know almost nothing about Power Rangers and even I could tell that. My friend's playing Jedi Survivor and um, is stuck on the boss, uh, Darth Vader. Yeah, Jedi Survivor. Um, because in Jedi Survivor, you can fight, uh, you fight Vader as Siri, and it's like a no, it's a no-win fight. And you're, like, you, you're you supposed to lose, but you're forced to lower his health all the way, and it's kind of like, fuck you. He's also a very irritating boss. Yeah, no, I saw in uh, Fallen Order, he had no health bar, and I was like, Ex fucking excuse me? Well, not well, only yeah. that, but... You don't beat it, him. Take, yeah, <laughs> yeah. obviously my... not, but uh, as someone who has fought many a bosses in their lifetime, I was just no, kind of looking at it like, what the it's fuck? Another, it, there's another level to it, you ready? Mm. Um, you can't heal, because that's one of the mechanics with Jedi. the Jedi games, is you can use BD-8 to heal you. With When you're playing a Siri, you can. Dear. I'm all done. 
Yay! So, wait, what? Well, not full model. I still have shield, oh. gun, and... But, like, body is all done. Yeah. Nice. Congrats. Hell is over. Now do it again.